So from the beginning, we really wanted to show that in our game, that this is not a rookie Spider-Man. He's been eight years now with Spider-Man, so he's experienced, he's in possession of all his powers, and right from the get-go, you're ready to kick butt. I would describe the combat very easily. He's an acrobatic improviser. It's all about using webs. It's all about using the environment. It's all about getting off the ground, using his gadgets. Gadgets for us were a no-brainer. We think about what we need. Do we need a stealth gadget? Do we need a trap gadget? Do we need an AOE type of gadget? And then we start sorting the gadgets by what is necessary or useful for gameplay. The thing with the gadgets is you wanted to make sure they had multiple purposes a lot of times. You could use them like the trip mine in a very straightforward way, but you can also use them dynamically in sort of main combat and you can stick two guys together. Player choice is really big in how we design the combat scenarios. From the moment to moment where your different melee actions and your gadgets, you can choose which what you want to do. We also have combat setups that have a stealth component to them, so when you arrive, you'll be able to strategize about where you want to best position yourself. We want to make sure there's perch points for you if you want to sneak up on people, or if you're really into environmental combat, that there's always something that you can grab with your web and like sling at an enemy. As designers, we can lay out levels that have a bunch of different options for the player, so they can choose what they want to do. Like a crane that has a part that you can pull down, as well as construction, scaffolding, and stuff like that. So seeing those opportunities in the battlefield, those are real important. Even though there are threats and he has the burden on his back, it's always fun to be Spider-Man. Let's show Spider-Man at the height of his abilities, and then let's allow you, the player, to sort of customize him. You know, one thing we want to do is make sure people feel like a superhero right away, or feel like a greater superhero over time. As you play the game many hours in, you're going to feel like a greater Spider-Man. You're going to feel like a more experienced Spider-Man. Today's station.